properties of matter. Matter is anything around you that you can perceive through senses. It is made up of particles. You usually find it in only few forms or states. Take a piece of chalk and break it into two pieces. Try to crush one piece into smaller and smaller particles. Can you count the number of particles? No, you will not be able to count the number of particles of a piece of chalk. Pour few drops of tea on the table. Wipe it off with a cotton cloth. What change do you observe in the cotton cloth? The cotton cloth absorbs the tea and becomes wet. Open a water tap and try to break the stream of water with your fingers. Can you do it? Yes. Fill a bottle with water fully up to the brim. Try to add more water in it. Is it possible? No. Now, remove some water in a glass. What is there in the space which was earlier occupied by water? It's air. Matter occupies space. Two objects cannot occupy the same space at the same time. The mass of an object gives an indication of the amount of matter that an object contains. Mass is a physical quantity which expresses the amount of matter in a body. Sometimes we speak of the contents of a container meaning the matter inside it. The space inside the container that is occupied by matter is its volume. Following are the characteristic properties of matter. 1. Matter is made of very tiny particles. These particles have space between them. Also, they attract each other. 2. Matter occupies space. 3. Matter has volume and mass. Activity Density Density is the ratio of mass to volume. Density is equal to mass divided by volume. Example When kerosene and water are mixed, you will find that kerosene will form the upper layer because it has less density than water. If you had a wooden block of mass 4 grams and dimensions of 2 centimeters into 3 centimeters into 1 centimeter, what would be its density? To find the density, we need the mass and the volume of the wooden block. The mass is given as 4 grams and the volume is 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 1, which is 6 cubic centimeters. Applying the density formula, we have density of the wooden block is equal to 4 grams divided by 6 cubic centimeters. When we divide 4 by 6, we get 0.6. So, the density of the wooden block is 0.6 grams per cubic centimeter. States of matter. Students, now let's classify the following into solids, liquids and gases. Air, bench, kerosene, bag, bottle, chalk, brass, water vapor, blackboard, dust, table, soil, chair, water, door, pen, milk, eraser, petrol, book, window panes, ice, diesel, carbon dioxide, cupboard, oxygen, mercury. Air is a gas. Bench is a solid. Kerosene is a liquid. Bag is a solid. Bottle is a solid. Chalk is a solid. Brass water. Students, now let's classify the following into solids, liquids and gases. Air, bench, kerosene, bag, bottle, chalk, brass, water vapor, 
blackboard, dust, table, soil, chair, water, door, pen, milk, eraser, petrol, book, window panes, ice, diesel, carbon dioxide, cupboard, oxygen, mercury. Air is a gas. Bench is a solid. Kerosene is a liquid. Bag is a solid. Bottle is a solid. Chalk is a solid. Brass is a solid. Water vapor is a gas. Blackboard is a solid. Dust is a solid. Table is a solid. Soil is a solid. Chair is a solid. Water is a liquid. Door is a solid. Pen is a solid. Milk is a liquid. Eraser is a solid. Petrol is a liquid. Book is a solid. Window panes is a solid. Ice is a solid. Diesel is a liquid. Carbon dioxide is a gas. Cupboard is a solid. Oxygen is a gas and mercury is a liquid. Students, now let us understand each state of matter one by one. Solid state. Solids are used when we need something to keep its shape or to support something. This is because they have a fixed shape and remain in the same place where they are kept and generally cannot be compressed. Solids are usually hard since their particles are closely packed together. Closer the particles, harder is the substance. Solids also can hold their own shape. A rock will remain in the same shape and the same place for years together unless it is broken by an external force or moved. The same is true for a diamond. The particles of a solid cannot move much. This is one of the physical characteristics of solids. The particles in a solid are bound to each other by a force. When a pure substance attains solid form very slowly, it forms a crystal. Not all pure substances form crystals because it is a delicate process. The atoms in a crystal are arranged in a regular repeating pattern called a crystal lattice. A crystal lattice is an exact arrangement of atoms. A good example is carbon. When it forms a perfect crystal lattice, a diamond is formed, while in coal, the arrangement of atoms is more random and different from diamond. Following are the characteristic properties of solids. 1. Solids have a definite shape and volume. 2. Solids are almost incompressible. Their volume is not changed by any outside force. Their shape does not change even if an external force is applied. That is why solids are rigid. 3. Some solids, however, do change their shapes when an external force is applied and regain their shape when the force is removed. A rubber band is a good example of solids being elastic. 4. Solids can be quite strong because the particles are very close. The forces holding each particle to its neighboring one are quite strong. Liquid state. Some liquids flow easily as compared to other liquids. This is due to the property of viscosity. Less viscous liquids flow easily. Solids are difficult to compress while it is easy to compress gases. Liquids have very low compressibility. Following are the characteristic properties of liquids. 1. Liquids have a definite volume. 2. Liquids do not have a definite shape. They take the shape of the container they are in. 3. Liquids cannot be compressed easily 
because the particles are already very close to each other. Gaseous state In solids, atoms and molecules are compact and close together. Liquids have atoms a little more spread out. However, gas molecules are really spread out and the atoms and molecules are full of energy. They move around constantly. Gases can fill a container of any size or shape. We use liquefied petroleum gas, that is LPG cylinder at home, and compressed natural gas, that is CNG cylinder in vehicles. Also, you might have seen compressed air in a spray bottle or feel the carbon dioxide rush out of a can of soda. These are examples of a gaseous substance forced into a smaller space. Following are the characteristic properties of gases. 1. Gases flow. The particles are always changing places with each other. 2. Gases spread out to fill the container. They move very fast and there are no forces to stop them from going apart. They can be stopped by the solid walls of the container. 3. Gases can be easily compressed. The particles are so far apart that they can easily be squeezed together. Change of state. The phase or state of matter can change when the temperature changes. Generally, solid gets converted into liquid and liquid gets converted into gas when the temperature is raised. As the temperature rises, matter moves to a more active state. Phase describes a physical state of matter. Things only move from one phase to another by physical means. If energy is supplied, like increasing the temperature or increasing pressure, or if energy is taken away, like freezing something, or decreasing pressure, you have created a physical change. Substances can exist in all three phases like water. Few more examples are 1. Oxygen, as a gas, still has the same properties as liquid oxygen. The liquid state is colder and denser, but the molecules are still the same. 2. If you don't eat ice cream in time, it gets converted into milkshake. Properties are the same. Changing states of matter is about changing density, pressure and other physical properties. The basic chemical structure does not change. Do you know about solids, liquids, gases, plasma and a new one called Bose-Einstein condensates? The first four have been around a long time. The scientists who worked with the Bose-Einstein condensate received a Nobel Prize for their work in 1995. But what makes a state of matter? It's about the physical state of molecules and atoms. Each of these states is also known as a phase. Suggest one scientific word for all of the following changes. Solid wax converts into liquid wax. Ice changes into water. A plastic bowl kept near the flame changes its shape. Frozen butter is kept outside the refrigerator. Scientific word for all the mentioned changes is melting. The melting point of a solid is the temperature at which the solid gets converted into the liquid. The process by which a solid gets converted into a liquid state at a fixed temperature is melting. The freezing point of a liquid is the temperature at which the liquid gets converted into solid. When you fall ill, your mother keeps the record of your body temperature. What is the normal body temperature? It is measured in a unit called the Fahrenheit. So, you may be having a temperature of 101 degree Fahrenheit. 
this unit of measurement is different than the Celsius. We say the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. The melting point of solid oxygen is minus 218.4 degrees Celsius. Melting point of glucose is 150 degrees Celsius. Water freezes at 32 degree Fahrenheit and boils at 212 degree Fahrenheit. The scale was created by Gabriel Daniel Fahrenheit in 1724. The formula of conversion Fahrenheit minus 32 into 5 divided by 9 is equal to Celsius. We call the freezing point of water 0 degree Celsius and the boiling point 100 degrees Celsius.